And on today's episode, it's okay for schools to teach an inaccurate history of slavery to our kids instead of teaching about love or regular life issues like paying rent, balancing out your budget, even how to fish and hunt. I mean, that is something that everyone should know. I mean, if you knew how to do that, you wouldn't have to go to grocery stores. I don't know. I'm just rambling on and on. Go ahead and drop that motherfucker intro. They don't give a fuck about this. I get high every day to keep the stress gone. Cause I know if I ain't got it, somebody dead, y'all. I don't share what you can buy. And it's to the head, dog. Uh, yeah, dog. Alright, check this out. The person you're with is a reflection of yourself. We've already covered that in another video when I was talking about, um, you know, dating an entrepreneur. But this is for all around in any relationship. The person, if, if you, if the person you're with is not your best friend, like if the person you're with is not the person you share secrets with, is not the person that you are open with completely, is not the person that you are able to talk to, and is not the person that you can really connect with, then that person is not for you. And if you're not willing to, to make those connections, then you are not for a relationship right now. It doesn't make no sense for you to put more trust in your homeboys or your homegirls and you still looking at uh, your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife or your husband like, I know they're doing something, I can't trust that motherfucker. That shit is so stupid and backwards. I like to try to keep this entrepreneur, you know, on by entrepreneurship and everything like that, but to be honest with you, that is, you know, family is the cornerstone of any society. And, you know, in black, in our black uh, culture, we have been brainwashed to, you know, destroy our, our, uh, our society before it even starts by fucking up our families. And how we do that is, we, you know, we always look sideways at the person we're with. And if you're looking sideways at the person you're with, shame on you. You're a weak motherfucker and you need to get out their house or you need to get out of a situation where they're helping you out. And you need to go do for your fucking self because that's the only reason why you fucking with that motherfucker. All this, I don't know what they're doing when I'm not around them and I don't trust them and I don't trust niggas or I don't trust bitches and everybody the same shit, that's bullshit. All that really means is you are just stuck in your ways and you like to cheat and you like to find excuses for what the fuck you like to do. And cheating isn't always fucking. It can mean you're withholding money or trying to get over you know, or, you know, get get over in a relationship uh, uh, financially or you're trying to get over in a, in a relationship with, with things or anything like that. If you're with somebody that you're trying to get over on, then that is not a, a healthy relationship for you nor that person. You're wasting time and quite frankly, it's silly and you need to do some some real looking in your within because that is a waste of time for yourself. You're sitting around here blowing in the wind, not giving a fuck, leeching off of other motherfuckers. That shit is lame. Find you somebody that is for you Find you somebody that you can really love. Don't get with somebody to impress somebody. Don't get with somebody because you think they're sexy and you want to fuck with them. Do not do that. Do not put yourself in a used situation. If you're with somebody, that needs to be your ace boon coon. That needs to be your, your number one. That needs to be your main person you ride or die with. Because let me tell you something. All that, oh, you don't need a man or you don't need a woman, that's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit, all right? White people didn't come over here on the boat talking about they don't need a man or a woman to take over the Americas, okay? You need, you, you motherfuckers need to open their mind, I mean open their fucking eyes and really see what the fuck is going on here. I'm not going to stay too long on this subject, but at the end of the day, the person you with, if you're, if you're being conniving or sneaking and you're doing all this fuck shit behind their back on some other shit, leave them alone, stop with that shit. Get out that situation, man up, woman up, do what the fuck you need to do for you. Go back to moms or dad or whatever the fuck you need to do. Uh, just stop. And let me tell you something. And, and if, if moms and dad kicked you out at a, at, a, a early, at an early age and they wasn't fucked up, then most likely that means that you was fucked up, stuck in your motherfucking ways. But that doesn't go for anybody, so don't shoot my fucking head off with that shit like, oh, he don't know my history and all this other shit. So as always, keep fucking with that circle and, and, and fuck with your boy. Make sure you um, check me out on YouTube. Make sure you check me out on Twitter. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. If I'm doing this, hopefully you can check me out and subscribe and follow my shit magically. H-Y-B-R-I-D-803 and I'm fucking out. What? I don't give a fuck, say what you gon' say Cause I'ma get this motherfucking money either way Pull up to the spot and hop out and get paid I